case. So suddenly I had a great constitutional lawyer and money. And uh, actually, at the beginning, when I was sitting outside of the lawyer's office, the executive vice president, Harding Bancroft, came out. He said, where did you find this Amsterdam? He said, this is the best thing that happened to us so far. They love this guy. Brilliant lawyer. However, in time, they came to despise him because they couldn't control him. But from that day, the black journalists and this extraordinary lawyer, we fought this case and we won a tremendous victory. The New York Times one time told me to come to New York right away. And I remember their lawyer putting his finger in my face telling me I better back off from this. He said, what's going to happen is you're going to get a bad law written and reporters are going to be suffering from your bad law. He said, drop it. I'm saying, why are you telling me to drop it? Why don't you tell the FBI and the Justice Department to drop it? I'm out here just trying to do my job and you're telling me to drop it? They're the ones that started this. And now I'm going to follow the advice of my lawyer. And I did. And as it happened, we went to the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit in California and they found me in contempt and ruled that I had to go and stay in the prison in the custody until I complied with the order of the court. When the judge was reading his answer, he said, whispered to me, he said, don't worry, I'm going to appeal this to the Supreme Court right away. I'm going to get you out. You won't be in there long. Uh, and, uh, and in the course of his argument, he said, I shouldn't have, to. the government said, I had to go into jail right now. They said, you have to take him into custody right this minute. And Anderson said, he sh I should be allowed to appeal because I could win this. And they said, well, no, the idea of punish him to make him tell it. But he said, you're, you're trampling over his rights. The judge ruled in my favor. They let me remain free while we appealed. This, that court, that ninth district court ruled that while I had to go before the grand jury, I didn't have to tell anything that was told to me by the Panthers on a confidential basis. All my information and documents, everything was protected, but I had to go. But that was a secret proceeding. I'm saying, if I just go down there, the Panthers will say, whoa, 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 what are you doing down there before a grand jury that's investigating us if you're not going to be telling anything about us? And that, that was right. So I said, I'm not going. We appealed. The New York Times called it a great victory. They wouldn't join in the appeal. They left me hanging out there. <laughs> Abe Rosenthal wrote a letter. It said, put it on the bulletin board. He said, well, we all, everybody, we all feel sorry for Earl Caldwell in a difficult position he finds himself. Like it wasn't even their reporting to protect their, one of their own reporters. Uh, even other reporters but these black journalists all around the country mobilized and we all came together and we had a secret meeting in Jefferson City, Missouri. We all slipped off from our jobs and went out there and we developed a strategy to support Caldwell and uh, we appealed this case to the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. I won a unanimous victory. In my time, I've seen President Clinton have to go before the grand jury. I've seen President Nixon have to go before the grand jury. The only American I know that's been subpoenaed before a federal grand jury and was the ruling of the court was that he doesn't have to go, doesn't even have to show up, is me, Earl Caldwell. And the court ruled unanimously that the First Amendment not only protected reporters' information, their notes, and, com and the right to hold confidential sources, but also protected the reporting process. And they said, if Caldwell goes down there before the grand jury and he doesn't have to give any confidential information, he would be destroyed as a reporter. And, and, they, uh, and they said, look at all the stories he was able to write, all the stuff he was able to tell us because he had the trust of the Panthers. And no, you can't break that for that. 